I've literally done my best, everything in my power, to kill every single one of you. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off of me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Fucking bitch. Oh, get the fuck tub. Get in the tub. Every one of you. So, how are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Sir, every one of you get in the tub. Get in the tub. Get in the tub. Shut up. There is no respect. Get in the tub. You are going home. I know you're not sitting down. You're not coming to the fucking water. They're all going to the water. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're interested in going to selection, make sure you go to greenberrychronicles.com or check the description box below where you'll find access to several of my programs who include the Prep Course Patreon page and also the Elite Academy Patreon page, all geared towards helping you prep so you can attend and crush Special Forces Assessment and Selection, right? So guys, over the weekend, I had a couple of guys reach out to me and they wanted to know Hey, Jay, what are your thoughts on the modern day night project running their last course and closing their doors? So I did some research, right? And this course is is one of the more controversial ones out there, right? Um, I remember seeing a couple of clips on it on YouTube and it's all over Reddit, right? For a couple of different things. One, the price to the uh, yelling and the bashing that takes place as they're trying to run these men uh, through this program. Uh, the intent behind that course, based on my research, is to take entrepreneurs and put them through military style training uh, to hopefully help them become better men, not only spiritually, but physically, emotionally, and also have them succeed in business, right? That's the intent behind that program. However, the clips that I've seen on YouTube, I'm not going to lie, kind of placed a bitter taste in my mouth, right? Um, here are some of the clips that I'm talking about. Out of the water and ring the bell, I'm going to personally fucking whoop your ass on the sand. So if you are already contemplating on ringing the bell, step forward now, ring the bell, go sit in the fucking warm truck and let the other men do what men do. If this was class one where there was no video to demonstrate what you would be experiencing, I would understand that some of you might show up looking like pumpkins and pears like you do. The second they take off, the next one hits the steps forward and hits the ground. What does the one waiting do? Nothing. Holy fucking shit! Oh, whoa! We oh, found our one. Put your fucking hands out! Lock your hands! You fucking figure it out before you show up. And then you come here and you kick it in the fucking dick. Yes, sir. Not the bullshit that you're doing right now. Feet. Back. Belly. Back. Feet. So when speaking about this, guys, when I first saw this, I'm not going to lie. I had some dirtbag tendencies, right? Because I saw this program and I saw how much they were charging and my spidey senses started tingling, right? I'm like, man, $18,000 a dude? I don't care if there's a real long retention uh, a program attached to it, but man, that is a fucking money grab. And I started scheming, right? I put my business plan together. I'm like, how can I tap into this market? Um, and I had my plan going, like I got it on my vision board and everything. And the more I dug into it, the more research I did, I realized that I, I wasn't gonna be able to make this work and actually get my end state across. And this is the reason why. So in special operations, we have what's called soft truth. Special operation forces truth, right? There are five pillars that we use to guide how we mold and shape special forces operators. And one of those pillars is special forces operators cannot be mass produced. From start to finish, it takes the schoolhouse $1 million, $1 million to make one special forces operator over the span of one year. For your 18 deltas, two years, and probably access of 
you know, 1.5 to $2 million. So that's the dollar amount and that's the time that it takes. And I couldn't honestly, you know, take all that money from an individual and promising them that I can make them me or I can make them like me, right? Guys, after I got done with the Q course, it took 15 years to make me, to make the individual that you guys are looking at right now. 15 fucking years. I can't in good conscience take people's money and tell them, hey, in 75 hours, I'm going to train you to think like me. In 75 hours, I'm going to make you like me. That is a lie and that is a money grab, right? So that was my biggest issue with this training and others like it, right? Because you guys, the audience, you see me and you see all these other special forces guys out there, whether it's Navy, Air Force, Army, like Marines, you see them. And of course, you want to be like us, right? You might have one time want to join the military, you missed your window, and now you see us and you're like, oh, I want to go be like that guy. So you sign up for the three-day course or the week-long course thinking that you're going to get something out of it. But in reality, guys, it's a way of life, right? There's so much things that go into it. I can't give you my military experience. I can't give you the deployments. I can't give you the hardship. I can't give you the PTSD. All of that are things that goes into making me a mentally tough person. I can stand there and speak with you for a couple hours, but it's not going to change anything in you unless you choose to change it yourself. Guys, from start to finish, an 18 x-ray, for example, you go through basic training where you do a bunch of physical activities to make you into a soldier. And even after that, you're still bottom of the barrel, brand new E1. You don't know shit. You go to AIT, where the army will further horn you into what you need to be. Then you go to airborne, where you'll do more physical training. Then you'll go to special operation preparation course, where our cadres will fucking destroy you, right? In order to get you ready for selection. At this point, you're approximately, you know, four or five months in and you still don't know anything. You're still mentally weak. Then you go to selection, which is three weeks long, guys. And if you make it through that, then you go to the qualification course. Then you go to a group. At this point, you're at three and a half years. And then once you get to your group, you're still at the bottom of the barrel. Nobody trusts you to do shit, right? Then you'll serve and then you'll come out and then maybe you'll be mentally tough enough, right? That's the process, guys. My biggest issue with this particular program, which I recently found out that they're closing down. I don't know if it's due to a lawsuit that they're currently going through or the fact that somebody died while going through this training. The number one issue that I had is degrading. Now, you got to understand when you see drill sergeant or when you see other military instructors yelling and berating soldiers, they're doing it for a reason, guys. Like if you look at basic training, there's a gradual projection that takes place. The first couple of weeks, you're breaking down these brand new privates and you're making them into soldiers, right? So you go through that iteration with the drill sergeant who are trained to do that specific task. And after one or two weeks, they'll start dialing it back. By the time you get to week nine, there's no more yelling, there's no more berating because the process has taken place. You're transforming regular people into basic soldiers. To just yell and scream at people for no fucking reason, like that shit blows my mind. I've never been one to communicate by yelling and by screaming and by demeaning people, right? That's just little man syndrome. That's just weakness. That's just, I'm better than you and I'm yelling at you because I can. That shit blows my mind. You can easily communicate with a person and get your point across just by speaking to them. Right? Even when I was an instructor at the schoolhouse, dude, I never once lost my temper because that shows whoever you're speaking with that, hey, you're a competent masculine man that can get your point across without screaming, right? The other issue that I have with this course is the cadres. It's like, guys, are these guys actually trained to conduct this type of training, right? Because based on what I've seen online, there's a lot of yelling, there's a lot of them telling these these, these, these people that they're going to fuck them up, they're going to beat them up, they're going to destroy them. But it's like, bro, like what type of military instructor training do you have to perform in that space? 
just saying I'm a veteran of whatever is not a qualification. To be an instructor, I had to go through multiple layers of training. And once I got to the leadership role, I had to go through multiple layers of leadership instructor training so I could better manage my instructors that were under me, right? So the DOD has several different programs in place to make sure as cadres that we're taking care of Americans' youth. We're taking care of people's sons and daughters when they come through us through the schoolhouse to make sure we don't kill them, to make sure that we don't permanently score them for the rest of their lives through some injury, right? Like guys, there's checks and balances in place. And as I'm watching this guys, again, I don't know what these guys are trying to do. To me, it just looks like a bunch of dudes with little man syndrome yelling and telling these guys that they should listen to them because they were in the military, all right? That's not the case at all. Not everybody that's been in the military deserves to be listened to, all right? The last problem that I have with this, guys, is one, you're having people pay $18,000, right? And then you're graduating six dudes out of a class of 22. When you do things like this, guys, it actually does more harm than good. And this is why. So you have 22 guys that already have issues, right? Whether it's confidence, competence, you know, like weak mind, like whatever it is, they're there for a reason. You already have those guys within your formation. And throughout the process, you're yelling, you're breaking them down, you're demeaning them, you're smoking them, you're like whatever it is that you're doing, right? And then you get to the point where you graduate six. So the remainder of the guys that were already, you know, mentally fucking fucked up, all you're doing now is you're making them worse, right? Because now they're going to leave that program thinking that, oh man, I wasn't good enough to complete this. I'm already struggling in a life. And now I get to this program and I can't perform. I'm nobody. I'm worthless, right? And to think that those guys aren't thinking that, then something's wrong with you, right? You shouldn't be an instructor because as an instructor that's trained, we know how the psychology works. That's something that we had to take classes on while we we're going through the training. We understand the psyche of students, right? We understand how to speak with them, how to encourage them, how to fucking motivate them, right? And we know what it does to them when they fail. And most of the guys that we see are already competent men. But to take a group of incompetent dudes already and then put them through that and tell them, you fail, go home. Dude, I'm surprised no one's fucking killed themselves over this shit, right? So you got to understand what you're doing whenever you choose to go to these programs, right? Now, what is a better alternative? Guys, like I said, I can't pour 20 years of experience into you over the span of... 72, 73, like four or five, I can't do, that's not possible, right? However, what you can do is do stuff like marathons because there's a process that you have to go through to train for a marathon, right? It's gonna give you that discipline. It's gonna motivate you. It's gonna help you train your mind to get tougher, right? Go run half a marathon. Just that process alone of waking up in the morning, making yourself run, recovering, like ill and still discipline and military type of discipline, right? Go out in town and do your tough mutters. Do those, right? Because that is a challenge. And you don't have anybody yelling at you or taking $18,000 from you, right? Go do like a go ruck event or all these random events that are out there that forces you to prep and forces you to actually train your body and maintain discipline. Those, in my opinions, are better than paying, you know, these military gurus out there to, you know, yell at you and give you, you know, bits and pieces of information here and there that you can easily go out and get yourself. So that's my two cents, guys, when it comes to programs like these. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. And if you have a topic or a question similar to what this individual have, you can reach out to me through uh, um, Instagram or email and I'll do my best to answer your questions, right? Guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Enjoy your weekend and until next time, take care of yourself.